So we heard you want to study biomed. I'm sure you've heard some rumors. We'll spill the tea about what biomed was like for us. Get it. Welcome to Spicy Ones, where we have spicy conversations with students. Today, we are joined with Finn Martin. It's goody. He was ducks of Palmy boys back in the day. And in today's video, we'll be discussing what life is like as a biomed student. We were biomed students last year, and now what do we study, Finn? Oh, medicine. So Finn, how hectic was biomed last year for you? Not gonna lie, biomed is pretty tough, eh? Mm. It's um, a lot of work, but you really do get out what you put in. So it is a lot of grind, but I do think it's worth it. Mm. Okay, so we'll try to paint a picture for them of how many hours we spent studying and how much downtime we had. So usually our day would consist of three hours of lectures possibly. Usually I had mine in the morning, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then in the afternoon we may have a tutorial or a lab. Something like that, yeah. Uh -huh. And then outside those hours, how much time did you spend studying, would you say? I'd probably say for every lecture I had, I'd probably spend um, two hours um, rising with studying for that too. So adding on to the actual hour of lecture, probably like three hours per lecture. Okay. But um, obviously that varies, so some are harder than others and um, yeah. Mm, for sure. Some lectures are quite straightforward while others you have to go over and over again. So the big question is, is there time to do other stuff outside studying in your biomed first year if you're trying to get into a competitive program like medicine? I'd, I'd say 100% yes and I'd in fact say that if you are trying to get a competitive program you'd be doing yourself a disservice not to be doing stuff outside of studying as well. Because mm. the reality is like you do have to put in a lot of work but you can't study 24 hours for every single day you're just going to burn out. So. I think having something to do outside of class that can get your mind off it for maybe a couple hours a day so that when you are studying you can be efficient about it. That's my advice, yeah. Mm, I completely agree. You need to have that study life balance, especially in first year. It's quite easy to burn out. So Finn, what things did you do outside of studying that helped you with your mental well-being and your work-life balance? Well, I found fat, keeping fit and healthy was um, really good, so maybe going for a run or going to the gym a couple times a week. Uh, it was just something to kind of get your mind away from it. And I do feel like a fit and healthy body is key for a fit and healthy mind as well. So I got that off that guy with cerebral palsy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, just, I feel like doing something just completely different from um, what you're studying is just something to get your mind away from that same way of thinking so that you have your time away from it. Then once you go back to your studies, you're actually focused and dialed in and ready to actually put in some good work. Sweet. Sounds like you had a very good balance in first year, Finn. <laughs> <laughs> so apart from um, gymming and like physically keeping fit, did you do anything social to you know, keep that social circle going, that socializing thing? No, I'm not gonna lie. I um, had my fair number of nuts in the town. And um, well, many people demonize um, kind of going out and doing stuff like that. I fully actually reckon that it's good to go out and have a few um, loose nights out. It's a good way of um, making new friends. Um, it's very different to the rest of your kind of experiences. And I think it's just part of your first year of uni. You do have to kind of, even though you're studying so hard, you do need to kind of kick back and let go a bit because it is your kind of first year of freedom away from home as well. So I think while it is easy to just get lost in your studies, um, maybe give yourself time to have a bit of freedom, freedom as well. Sounds like you worked hard and played hard, Finn. Ah uh, yes, definitely can say that. <laughs> so we've established that although it's a lot of work studying, you can have time outside of studying to do the things you want to do. But is it possible to work during biomed first year? This is a controversial one and I would say probably not. Last year I did a bit of tutoring um, for maybe three or four hours a week and I found that really pushed me. Um, so honestly, if you're doing anything more than that, I would say you would struggle to balance both. I do think that it's not the year. If you really want to go into medicine or something competitive to not work and 
Finn, you work now in biomed, in, in med school, eh? Yeah, um, I boost my tutoring, so I probably do about 10 or 15 hours a week with that, and I can balance that quite well now. Um, but in that first year, your main priority has to be um, your studies. And then like any free time you have, if you're spending that working, then that's kind of burning you out more. I do think like that little spare time you have, you should just be doing doing something you enjoy doing that way should be fun and help you. Mm. Sounds good. Okay, so now we're moving on to halls. We both stayed at Uni Hall last year, which was a decent hall, up the hounds. Up the hounds, yeah. And what was that experience like moving from a smaller town, Palmerston North, to a big town in Uni Hall? I mean, I did find it quite overwhelming at first because, like, you're chucked in a hall with, like, maybe double my year group mm-hmm. that was um, at high school. And so many new people, and I think you're probably the only person in New Hall that actually knew going in. So there's about 600 other people in there too. But it is such a good way to make um, new friends. And, like, obviously you get close with other people doing biomed, but people doing other degrees too that you wouldn't otherwise um, get to meet. I would like to compare our halls to being into a long camp. Yeah. You go to accommodation and then you go down for meals and you can eat together and you're away from your family and everything's real you know safe mm. and it's just a nice place to hang out and meet people yep 100 percent agree with that very um camp vibes but um so you do get that kind of real fun aspect of kind of being around each other at meal times you almost do become kind of like you're kind of family away from home you know mm-hmm. um so yeah yeah Lastly, we've covered most aspects of life during by mid first year, but I want to touch on sports real quick. Finn, avid athlete, as you can see from his frame. Look at the Sorry muscles. About it. So, in high school, you have many opportunities to play sports. If you don't make the first team, you have the second team, or you can play social, all that. There's always a team for you to play in. But what was sports like as a biomed student, Finn? So I didn't actually play any properly organised sports in my first year, but kind of in terms of that, I'd do more of like maybe playing pick-up basketball Mm. or a casual game of cricket. So it's a lot more um, relaxed. I mean, I was was playing like some first um, team level sport in high school where it's very like rigid and you've got lots of trainings and stuff to make a week. Whereas universally, unless you are playing that really high level sport, it is a lot more chill. Yeah, well, I know someone who's like national level like international level he's very good at sport and he took a break first year to focus on his studies so i think it's it really depends on what you want to prioritize for me i played lots of pickup ball like finn hit the gym a few times a week but yeah that's a sacrifice i guess you might have to make but now in mid school we have a bit more time we can play sport if we want to and it's a lot more chill not so much pressure yeah like the workload's probably higher but it is less pressure just because you're already in there mm, for sure anything else you want to cover real quick then oh no i just think the real take-home message is that biomed is a really tough year and you've probably already heard how much work you're going to have to put in and they're not it's not an exaggeration it's very hard but you do need to give yourself some time away from studying to do some other things just to make sure you don't burn out That's the key message, I think. Very wise words from a very wise man. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope that you've learned something from this video. If you want more content like this, follow Finn on Instagram. Please hit the like button if you want to see more. Don't forget to subscribe. Please do. Daps him up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.